Cloud Atlas is structured in a way that seems to confuse many filmgoers. Cloud Atlas on the surface tells six stories throughout time about the oppressed struggling to be freed from their oppressors. For example, an old man struggles to be free from a retirement home, a slave struggles to be free, and the lower class tries to be free from the upper class, and so on. The film's narrative can also be viewed as how a person can change throughout lifetimes. For instance, Tom Hanks goes from a selfish, greedy man to a selfless person who's willing to jeopardize his own life to save another. One of the film's themes is that everything is connected, how everyone's life story can both inspire and change others. The theme that everything is connected is pretty apparent. Hell, it's even on the poster. Surprisingly, this went over a couple of people's head. Then, finally, I believe the film's main theme is eternal recurrence or eternal return which Nietzsche said is the metaphysical comfort with which I'm suggesting even now every true tragedy leaves us, that life is at the bottom of things, despite all the changes of appearances, indestructibly powerful and pleasurable. This comfort appears in incarnate clarity in the chorus of the satyrs, a chorus of natural beings who live ineradicably, as it were, behind all civilization and remain eternally the same despite the changes of generations and of the history of nations. This is shown through the same story being told throughout time, the oppressed versus the oppressors. That is what Cloud Atlas is ultimately about. Do you agree with my explanation of Cloud Atlas? Comment down below if you do or don't. Also, what are your thoughts on the film itself? Is it good, great or terrible? I'm pretty interested to hear everyone's thoughts as the film is pretty polarizing. Play me out, Sam.